In this section, we're going to be talking about how to find the greatest common factor of algebraic expressions. So first, we should talk about what an algebraic expression actually is. So an example of an algebraic expression would be something like 6x cubed plus 18x squared. So there are lots of different types of algebraic expressions, but this is going to be the type that we're going to talk about here, something that involves a number multiplied by a variable, possibly raised to some power, plus another thing of that same sort, a number of variable power. So each of these things here is called a term. 6x cubed is one term. 18x squared is another term. So that's term. And one or more terms uh, added or subtracted like that make up an algebraic expression. So you could also have more than just one variable. For example, something like 9x to the fourth times y minus 14x to the sixth. So here we have two different variables, x and y. We have number times a variable raised to a power times another variable minus another number times a variable raised to a power. And again, we have two terms, 9x to the fourth y minus 14x to the sixth. So two terms there. So there are many other different types of algebraic expressions, but for our purposes, we're just going to focus on the types like these, numbers, variables, powers, adding and subtracting, terms like that. Okay. So that's it for what an algebraic expression actually is.